Hello everybody, I'm Maria Cristina and I'm glad to welcome you to this new video lesson by Personal English. Today we're talking about business collocations, so business, business, business once again, but what are collocations exactly? Well, the collocations are one of the biggest problems for people who keep on translating literally from their mother tongue into English and they constantly get some things wrong without even, let's say, noticing this. Collocations are precisely this, and they are words that accompany other words. There is no grammar necessity behind this, it's just the way language works. And the more aware you are of this, the more fluent you're gonna sound, and especially the clearer you're gonna sound too. Now, just to give an example, I'm going to mm, an order. Starting from Italian, especially since our students are mostly Italian, what I frequently hear is I'm gonna make an order because in Italian we facciamo ordini. In English we don't. So the correct verb to use is yes, I'm going to place an order. Why? Well, because saying that you make an order may be misleading in terms of the other person thinking that, that you're gonna create an order data sheet or something, database or worksheet or something like that. So, so it wouldn't be clear at all. The seller has an invoice. And here as well, I very frequently hear made, made, made. Why? Because in Italian we overuse the verb fare, but actually in English we use the verb issue, has issued an invoice. Now, to issue as, let's say, a multifaceted polysimus verb that can be used with uh, any official document. So even a law is issued, and so is a receipt, and so on and so forth. Then we have the engineer will devise a project, will design a project, or will implement a project. The three of them are correct, but they are very different in terms of meaning. They basically describe three different steps in the project itself. And devising, devising is a synonymous with come up with, which is a little bit more informal, in a phrasal verb. And it's about planning this step by step, but only theoretically. This, that is, without putting it on paper, which is, by contrast, design. He's designing a project while he's putting it down precisely on paper. And to implement, I hear this all the time when I pay visits to companies, we're going to implement this and that. And what they have in mind is actually improve. No, that's completely different. Implement is not to improve. Implement is the third step that we're gonna take in the realization or execution of a project, and it means putting something into practice. Okay, what else do we have? We have number four. We have a quotation. Well, you can send a quotation, that is okay, but the correct verb to use is we have submitted. which is about calling, someone, calling someone's, someone's attention to something officially. And finally, there is a deadline we have to. We don't respect the deadlines in English, we don't abide to deadlines, but we meet the deadlines. So, there is a deadline we have to meet. Now, these are just a few examples, but in time, I'm going to introduce you to more and more business collocations so as to make your business English clearer and more effective when you're working. Until next time, take care and see you soon. Bye!